progressing through the lesson so far. We've done the enter quest. We've asked the questions. The children have come into the classroom. We've lined up in front of the chairs. Um, we've done the greetings. We've sat down. We did the first section, which was the alphabet. Did the activities with that. Moved on to the numbers. Did that. Drilled that. Did the activities. And now we're on to colors. This is one of the favorite uh, parts of the lesson that while well, kids really enjoy the colors because um, there are a couple of really good activities, a lot of fun doing this. Um, once again, we'll follow the same format, drill, activity, activity, song. So um, first we're going to uh, drill the colors. We have, I made these special um, color cards, they're double-sided color cards. On one side is a color and on the other side is a related picture. Um, you'll see how I drill them. I just want to make a point, you'll see in this video, um, it is so important to keep your cards in order, like if it's the alphabet, keep it in order, if it's supposed to be in order. Make sure that you don't get the cards upside down and stuff like that. If you use the cards for an, for an activity, make sure you get them back in order. The reason is the next person who uses them, the next teacher who uses them, if they're upside down or out of order or something like that, anything weird, you, it, the teacher that is using those cards next um, faces the a possibility of losing control of the class. If cards are upside down, anything weird, kids are going to think, or kids think it's hilarious, and you'll almost lose control of your class just because the card is upside down. So in this video, you're going to see the kids um, almost losing it because the card is upside down a couple times. So I want to really stress when you use the cards, put them back in order, don't have them upside down because you're going to cause trouble for you, the next teacher that uses them. So have a little bit of respect, okay? Put the cards back in order. In any case, let's do, take a look at the drills. Um, let's hope that your cards are in order so you'll have an orderly uh, drilling pattern, not like what's in this video. The cards, the teacher before me didn't put them back in order, so you'll see why it's so important to put those cards back in order, okay? Thanks a lot. Let's do that. Black. Black. What's black? Black. Crows, ping pong. Crows are black. Crows are black. Crows are black. Crows are black. Purple. purple. What's purple? Grapes. Grapes, ping pong. Grapes are purple. Grapes are purple. Grapes are purple. Brown. Brown. What's brown? Ping pong. Chocolate is brown. Chocolate is brown. Chocolate is brown. Chocolate is brown. Yellow. Lemons are yellow. Lemons are yellow. Red. What's red? Apple. Apples. Ping pong. Apples are red. Apples are red. Pink. Pink. What's pink? Pink. Pink. Pigs are pink. Pigs are pink. Dark green. What's dark green? Frog. Big bong. Frogs are dark green. Frogs are dark green. Light green. What's light green? Grasshoppers. Big bong. Grasshoppers are light green. Grasshoppers are light green. We've now finished drilling the cards, um, the double-sided flash cards. And next we're going to do the first activity, which is called Rabbit Ears. Um, this is a very fun game. It's kind of a memory game for the kids. They put their hands like this and you put two cards in. Um, choose the cards that uh, are suitable for the kids, like beige and, and tan are kind of hard colors, so maybe avoid them with this level class. If the kid's really sharp, then you could use those harder colors. Um, use the primary colors, blue, red, pink, red, uh, you know, and um, makes it easy. So what you do is you, the children put their hands up like this, you stick a card in of your choice that you think that the kid can guess, and all the kids get a card, two cards each, so that makes their rabbit ears. The remaining cards you put face up so they can see the colors. So what the kids do is they look at the cards on the floor to see what cards are on the floor. Then they look at their friend's cards and they try to figure out what are the two missing cards. And then they'll say red or blue or I think it's red, whatever level you're at. And um, it's quite a fun game. I'll play it once, sometimes two at a max, right? And uh, then I'll move on to the next activity. The kids will want to play it several times, but two max, hmm. um, and then move to the next activity. So let's take a look at the game now. Okay? 
きだからうちブラブラッポン<笑>ラッキーコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミュニケーションコミ